So I think I got a little bit carried away. <laughs> hey all, Tobes here. Playing some more House Flipper back at the house after the flood. So we are bringing this one to a close today, hopefully. Uh, so last episode we did this uh, big kind of luxurious master suite uh, with the ensuite bathroom with the pimping pimping TV above the bath. Uh, so today it is time to tackle the garden. Um, we're going to do the, both the front and the back gardens today and hopefully get this sold. So since you, uh, since the last episode, I have um, done a little bit out here, but not much really. So I've put down, put down these hedges kind of along the edge just to, just to, I don't know, just to change it a bit really, just to break it up a bit. Um, and then I put in a couple of places where, so where that pole comes down, you can't put a hedge in. So I put a bush in. And we've got another couple of bushes over there. So we have got this section, um, both sides of the both sides uh, in the front garden, and then obviously the back garden to do. So I think what I'm going to do at the front is I think I'm going to primarily gravel at the front. Um, so. Is that the last one? Oh, probably don't want to take that one away because I won't be able to replace it. So I'm not particularly. Um, I haven't done much with the. I haven't done really. Haven't done much in the way of gardening yet. Um, but I think as a starter, or to start it off, I'm going to gravel this whole thing. Now I have this enormous, great sea of gravel. That was quite expensive to do as well, um, as you can imagine. Each one of those is a pound. So I think that was probably, I don't know, probably about a thousand, I guess. I don't know, maybe not, maybe not that much. So um, next step, um, I think I'm gonna go with the path. So I wanna do, I don't wanna do a little, I wanna kinda do a double, um, like a, a double paving thing on top of uh, on top of this gravel. So I'm going to go with the. I think I'm going to go with the sports surface in this dark grey. Mm. Let's just have a look at how this will look. So let's just put these. So this sports surface is very plain. Um, but let's just have a little look. So, what does it? How does it do when it gets to the door? Slightly off, but uh, and we'll keep. I think we'll keep this fairly simple. That's probably going to be wrong, but let's have a little look. Second, let's get one of those. So, I want to sort of. I want to. What I'm going to do, just do this a sec, is I want to kind of double up with these. So I want to put these down and then um, I'll just do this as just to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. But I want to put these over the top of them. So I'm going to go with the blue. I think I was going to go with the blue. So I want to see still how this looks. Yeah, I just wonder if that would actually look better just straight on the gravel. Hmm. Yeah, I think I prefer it just straight on the gravel. So, we now have that. I just want to go around the edge of this though. Because um, I've used the one with the curb there. But I don't know if you notice this, but you can actually get rid of that curb um, using these ones. So, I'm just going to do that. Leave that edge there. 
So that looks quite, um, it looks very boring at the moment. So what I'm going to try, let's see what it looks like if I just sort of, just do, is that going to be, I want to just bring, I just want to see what it looks like if I kind of have the path ripple kind of thing. Like this. So I've got them all equally spaced. Uh, so that one needs to, that is right, isn't it? That way. I think it will just make it uh, a little bit, just a little bit more interesting, a little bit of something. Oh, that's wrong. What have I done there? Gone too far with that thing. So, um, and then actually when I started to look at these, this kind of gives me the idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to do something, I'm going to try to do something with sort of concentric circles. I'll just let it go straight. Probably just do that. Yes, I think that's just a bit more interesting now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do something with the, say this circle pattern that's in this. Um, not really sure how I'm going to do this yet, but I think I'm going to end up with a big circle. I want to end up with a big circle here. Oh, just a big jank where I where the game started to save. So I think I'm going to play around with a few ideas for this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the fountains. So there is that big one that's just it's round, isn't there? There is that. Not this bird. Oh, maybe that would work. How big is that? It's very small. Where is that fountain? I'm looking for the fountain that's just sort of sat on the ground. There, there it is. Uh Go, let's go a bit darker than that thing. Dark grey. Yeah. So this is going to be my... This is going to be my big circle. So it's going to go... It's going to go about there. And then I want to try, again, getting the... Getting the slabs. Um, so these guys... But actually, maybe not those guys in this case. Maybe just a dark one of those. And then just making like a radial pattern around these. Uh, how close it'll let me get. It doesn't seem like it wants to let me get too close to it. So this will be like a. Uh, I guess this will just. This will be a modern modern garden it's at the front. and a modern design I'll just keep going like so yep and then maybe yeah, I do another one let's do this for a sec so it's going to look weirdly it's going to be a bit like a like a sun at this stage going round. It's not terrible. Right. I might I may well put another layer on that, but um uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for lights. Lights again. I want the I think I want modern lamps. So big that's the trouble. I really want something like a, the equivalent of like a ground spotlight, but I think that it's going to work. Okay. Um, so let's. Well, what about these? These are quite small, aren't they? And they can sit on there. 
Hmm. I'm just, I mean, I'm just playing around with ideas here, so this might look terrible. It might look terrible, it might look good, we shall see. I'm trying to make a sort of sculpture -y deal. Just on the four points there, I think. Um, then we might just go. Might just go something at the end. I wonder what it would look like with some gravel at the end of it. Like a little tiny square. No, that's the same as the one underneath it. Maybe, maybe this would make. Not I rotate that. Oh, I could usually rotate. Can you not usually rotate those? Strange. Get go up down. I thought I could rotate the. Hmm. I thought I could rotate this. I can only. Make it bigger or smaller. It's a bit odd. Hmm. Just bear with me a second, guys. I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to experiment to see what see what I can do here. If it is everything, it's not really noticeable enough. Sorry. So just give me a little bit of time on this one. I'm maybe off camera I'll be better at getting something interesting. Okay, I think I've sussed out a thing. So I want to I want to see, I was trying to see if I can combine these two things. Um I'd love to have that on top of that. Actually this one. Maybe that would look even better. So I I know that when you use these, you put something on top of that and you remove that object below below it. It doesn't work like it does for some reason. It doesn't work like it does in the house. Like it doesn't drop. That will just float there forever. Even if I bump it, I don't know if I maybe if I hit it with a hammer. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually realise it would do that. Quite fun. Let's have a little look. So, ready, whack! Oh my goodness. Pretty sure you could break the game that way. Um, okay. So, anyway, back to, ta back to the task in hand. I do love this game. Um, so, I think if I put that on top of that, so I need to get the, basically I need to get it up to the height where it's suspended. Is that going to be enough? Let's have a look. Let's do that. I think I need a second one of these. And then let's try let's try the bigger one. I was looking at it a minute ago. Smaller one, but that bigger one might be interesting. So let's go there. So I don't want to sell those for a second. So if I just move those out. I might not get this right on the first go, guys, so. A second. Is it too? Oh, and I think I worked out as well. I needed to do for some reason put something underneath the fountain. Yeah, so I'm too. Let me carry on trying with this for a second. Pretty sure that worked with the smaller one. Maybe I need three of these big blocks. It doesn't matter how you place these blocks because you can put stuff on top of them anyway. Let's go with this small one for a sec. In fact, I do want the bigger one. I think I want the bigger one because it's got that angle to it as well, the point to it, which is just a bit more interesting. So let's try that. So this is going to be a bit of a trial and error to get the height right. Height right. Okay, so we can put it underneath there because I saw it just go green. There. But let me just see. I'll bring the 
bring the pool up a bit. Yeah, so it's got some. It's got. It's got a weird little. It won't let me put the. For some reason, it won't let me put the pool underneath it. But I can put it. Interesting. It will let me put it. Up, when I put it on top of these things, it will let me put it higher. Yeah, so that's too high. Okay. So it's obviously got. It will let me clip it into the water a little bit, but not too much. Slightly off center with that. So I probably would redo that. Um, do I prefer the small one? So I think that's our first circle. And that's a that's center point. So I'm, I'm actually considering just going. See what this would look like. Oh, there's another save. Might be that might be interesting. Um, bit weird, but this is totally just experimentation. Um, so if I can make a circle around, hmm, how would I get that? How would I achieve that? Like a larger circle. I think that's just going to be a mess, isn't it? Let's just do those again. I think I'm. A, I think I want a graduation. So I want something that's going to be again an, another circle. See, that's way too big, but not so, not so small. Be this guy. Maybe this guy on some gravel. Uh, be this guy on some on some bark. It's got some potential. This is such a weird idea, though. I mean, I'd, you'd have to let me know what you think. If this is, let me know in the comments, guys, whether you think this is. Uh, I mean, you'll have seen it by the end, so it may, it may well, it may well be. I mean, sometimes with these sorts of things, you do have to just kind of persist with them um, and see how they turn out. Fire pit. Oh, actually, fire pit would be better there, wouldn't it? Let's get rid of him. Oh, it's a damn grab back again. Yeah, that that fire pit is going to work better as the as the second circle it's also this thing as well that could work it's one of my circles i'm not really sure whether i'm going to continue to do this on the other side so even actually just this no that's too big isn't it by itself I don't actually know where it's gone now. Where's it gone? <laughs> uh, oh, I've gone blank. What was I even? Oh, there's another. There's another option. There's another option. A circle. It's the fire pit, isn't it? So is the fire pit in recreation? Yeah. There we go. So let's go. I think we'll go round the top actually and come so circles coming round this way. That might be more interesting. And go that one there. And that one there. Okay. That one there. And then let's see if we I don't want to remove that. Second. Hold on. Hold on. This is this is definitely a weird idea. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. Of it. OK, 
can I can make my circle grab ah oh. yeah okay I hadn't thought of that right this is what we're going to do we've got it now the guys do apologize this is a this is a developing idea I don't very often do this sort of thing on camera with you we're going to do that and then make the next one smaller and then we're going to make the next one smaller and then we're going to make the next one smaller right and then this one is going to go in there yeah, it's a center but I think it's okay this one is going to go in there this one is going to go in there and then we'll have to find something to go in here maybe it's just a plant Leave it with me guys, I'm going to do a bit more on this and see if I can kind of bring it together just on this right hand side here. Right, I think this has come together uh, into something a bit more interesting. So yeah, just put a bit more foliage in basically, um, put some trees in, put these planters along the front here. Uh, just filled it out a bit, I did stuff like, you know, I did these little grates from the um, survival set underneath the drains or underneath the um, the downpipes there probably I think I'm probably going to do a bit more sort of um, maybe some bark in, in some areas but I think that's pretty much yeah like I've done there I think I'm pretty happy with it now it's fairly simple um, I put all these posts in actually I've got way too many lights in here now but it's killing my FPS a bit uh, so p apologies if the video quality has gone down a bit and then I've made this corner here sort of a bit more like a bit wilder um, so this is a bunch of different plants there different shapes but they look a lot like um, like lavender bushes to me so just mix those in with some rocks and things um, so yeah I think it looks pretty cool now um, I will probably show I'll probably do a bit of a um, and then maybe I'll cut it in here but uh, a bit of the of what it looks like in the night I think it would be pretty cool Um can't do that at the moment because it's daytime in game and it's daytime uh, for realsies right let's go out into the back I think the back is probably going to be a bit simpler Um my one bugbear about the back is that you can't get rid of these cannot get rid of these fences believe that's still the case right yeah so you can't it sort of always feels a bit odd because you can't have like a big deck or a big patio coming off the back of this this door because this is sort of stuck there um i think we're gonna do i think what we're gonna do it's a bit weird oh i've been i've been playing around with something there um is probably have different areas of the i'm not gonna do a pool in this garden but I am going to do, I think I'm going to do like a gym area. Um, this is probably going to be just like sitting and then maybe like a cinema bit back there. Or something, maybe I'll just have that a bit more, a bit more rustic-y. So let's go do, let's have a look at the, initially, let's have a look at this gym area. I got a bit sidetracked here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work on a little... I had a little idea about whether I can turn this bit or I can, basically I was like what can I do with this corner that doesn't going to feel weird so I was trying to work out if, if there was a way possible that I could turn it into like a, a garden kitchen now I know you can actually pot can pot down outside and I've got plans for this in my in my next build actually um you can put down the actual kitchens um, outside a lot of the objects you can put outside but you know, a lot of the things you sort of wouldn't expect to put outside you can actually put outside but what I'm doing here is so these sports surfaces and only specifically with the sports surfaces and the architectural pieces can you do what I'm doing here which is basically build up um, above four pieces usually once you get to four pieces it makes you offset it for some reason these sports surfaces you can stack them 
continuously. So I could go all the way up to the to, to the sky box if I wanted to. Um and I have done that. <laughs> I just didn't record it in another episode. Um so what I'm hoping I can do here is get it up to a height. Like basically the problem is this fence is kind of odd. Um I'm actually going to remove this hedge for a minute because that was what I was initially thinking I was going to do. But what I'm now going to do is place. I mean, I'm not sure this is going to work. So you are, if you're seeing this, it's worked. Aha. Yes. Sort of does work. All right. So what I think I now need to do. In fact, it will let me put them over. So even that would work. Let's just get rid of this hedge. I mean, it takes a bit of, um, it takes a bit of sort of imagining of what it, it could potentially look like. Can we get another piece up there? Should be able to get another piece up there. Next to it. Yes. Okay. So this is going to take some finagling, but I think I can make this look like it's an outside, almost like an outside bar. So if I build up on this side again, to get this right, to get the position of this right, because it will be critical. I think that's a little bit too far over. So um, let me stack up these and I'll bring you back in a sec. Let's see if it works. So... I think I got a little bit carried away. <laughs> so this has turned out really cool. Like I was so surprised that I was able to do this. Um, so obviously it's an outside kitchen area. Uh, I've spent quite a lot of time doing this. So yeah, so the original idea of just stacking these up worked really well. Stack them all up. Um, and then I realised that you can... I had realised this before, but didn't realise it would kind of um, make so much sense here. But I was able to just cut them away. So if you these things don't drop, I think I said this earlier in the episode that um, yeah, if you take one of these away, it uh, so if you take all of them away below it, there's no sort of gravity in this outside in the garden. So um, so I managed to get some fridges underneath. Um, a cooker top. I put a gas bottle down there, which is from the survival thing, which sort of looks like it's powering this um, this garden, uh, this uh, this oven. And then a you know, little mini fridge up top, some bits at the back there, like a little sink. I didn't even realize you could do this either. Like you can install, this is actually a properly, I can get there. I don't know if I'll be able to get to the, yeah, I can't get to that. But this is actually a properly fully installed sink. Um, put a little shelf up above it because above it, it's sort of um, obviously it's at a different height but I put the, the shelf there um, and on top of it and the drain is up there um, pizza oven this is just random so yeah I'm pretty happy with that I think that turned out pretty cool the best place to view it is up on the top of the top of the pizza oven but yeah let me know what you think guys of that um, I think that's, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And it opens up, actually being able to do this opens up all sorts of new possibilities. It is very fiddly and it takes quite a lot of time. Um, but the fact that I now don't have that, that fence visible and it feels like it makes sense now in terms of the flow of the, the garden. What have you got over there? Nothing. Um, yeah, because now it doesn't feel like an awkward space. It actually feels like it kind of makes sense. So I'm going to continue on. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the timings, guys, and I'm going to continue on out of the side here. So I wasn't going to add a pool, but it seemed to so naturally fit here now um, that it made sense. And actually the, the, the pool fit almost perfectly in the slot that I'd left for it. So yeah, just and it just sort of actually sort of I guess flows on from the this outside kitchen area. So we're nearly there. We are nearly there. Um, I did do a little bit of. I think I'm just going to leave this end natural, like this corner natural, 
Um, so I might just do, hmm, oh, I've got to move that back. I might just do that, um, that space as being the, space in my way, yes. Um, that space is the gym I was talking about. Although it does feel a little bit odd that it goes straight out from this deck. Uh, now let me, I might do, let me see what I can come up with here. I might break this up with something like just a little bit of bushes or something. Okay, so now we have this little pathway. So I have just, yeah, lots and lots of layers of foliage and stuff into this. Um, just noticed a bit of gravel missing there. We just get that before I carry on. Uh, so yeah, just did this little pathway through the, I just wanted to make it, I wanted to make it so you couldn't see where it was going and um, just thought it'd be interesting. So I did a sort of curve the, the path and I put a big bush at the end of it. So it's a bit bumpy because I mean, I sort of want, deliberately wanted it overgrown, but in terms of the game, it kind of bounces, bounces you through. Um, so I think this end is where we're going to have our little, let's kind of have our little gym area. Um, and I'm going to keep this pretty simple because um, I've spent a lot of money on this, <laughs> a lot of money on this house. Um, but it's been cool actually to get my head around what you can do with the garden. Uh, so leave this on with me for a minute um, and I'll be bring you back in to show you the final result. Right, so this is the little bit then where the gym's going to be. So as you come down the path, can't see it. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, and then bounce down the path, you come to this kind of paved area. Just done a bunch more kind of grassy decorations things here. Bits and pieces, bits of flowers and stuff. Did this, again, this is a sports surface, but I used two different colours just to give it, just to give it something a bit interesting. So let's have a look at these. Um, I've not used these before. I don't know if they, there's quite a lot of them. So I don't think we're going to use all of them, but um, let's just hand pick a couple of interesting ones. So let's go with that. Um, I don't really care particularly about the colors. Uh, maybe red. I think maybe the lighter ones. Um, so I think we'll just choose a couple of, oh, they don't even, I thought maybe they require construction, but they don't. So that's a lot easier. Um, so what else do we want? Not even, I think I'm just going to leave them the standard color, place them down and not overly interesting, but, um, gym rope. Oh, this is just a rope. Interesting. It's a bit weird. I think we'll leave that on. Uh, yeah. Cross trainer. We definitely want a cross trainer. So I don't want to go too crazy with this because it might just get a bit too much, to be honest. But uh, maybe a couple more horizontal bars. Is that really tall? Yeah, I think that I think that will probably do. I mean, it's a bit it's a bit sparse, but there's not an enormous amount. Um, there's not really enormous amount I can do about that for what it is. So it's got to be a bit sparse, I guess. So I think that is the garden done. That's picking up weird light. My FPS has dropped or my frames per second has dropped quite significantly in this, in this garden. Um, there's a lot of detail in here. I think the more lights you add, the more um more it causes frames so if i go from up this end i'm getting about 80 frames there if i go down this end i'm getting 30. so if it looks a bit if it's starting to look a bit funny on the video then i do apologize it's because of the amount of stuff in this in this garden so let's do a little recap on what we got done in this episode so front garden and uh, so we made this little, made this kind of custom fountain thing. And yeah, 
this little kind of worldy area over here. And then we, as you've just seen, did our cool little garden kitchen area, outside kitchen area, uh, the, the pool area. And then we've got our kind of wilderness pathway back to the gym. So I think that is going to be it for this episode guys, I feel like we've got a lot done. I'm going to sell this house in the next episode, probably do a quick re kind of revisit uh, before and after thing in the next episode which should be coming out very soon um, and then I'll sell this one and move on to the next one. So thank you very much for watching guys, take it easy, my name is Toves, do be sure to come back next time and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and yeah I shall see you on the next one, take it easy.